Now, the next one that I'm going to show you then is this webinar project here that I've set up. So I'm going to come into this project site. And what we're showing here on the homepage are some of the key project metrics related to this project. So we'll see here, we've got a planned and an actual cost for this project, which we're showing here on two tiles. And all of these details are managed down here in the metric section of the template. So we'll see there, I put in the planned cost and I put in an actual cost. And again, if I wanted to, I could go in here and I could change that planned cost figure if I wanted to, or indeed change those uh, thresholds if I had the necessary permissions. Now, come back then to our uh, home page here, and I'm going to come into our tasks list here. So what we'll see here in the actual cost figure here is I'm now tracking costs at a task level. Now, maybe I don't want to do it at a task level. I could then do it at a project level if I wanted to. Um, no problem at all. Um, so I can pop in some details here, click stop here, um, and automatically on a timer job, we're going to recalculate that project. Um, again, I can push it through manually, like I've just done there. Now. And what that's going to do is update all of these project costs on our project site. We'll now see that our actual costs um, are now totaling um, up here on $20,000. $100. And if I come to my home page here, we'll see um, these details reflecting here when I ref uh, just refresh this page as well. Um, now, as we then go, you may also notice that the tile here is showing in green because our current actual cost is below the planned cost that we had originally set on this budget. Um, sorry, it's just uh, uh, taken a moment or two there to refresh, as Michal mentioned. Um, I'm working from a home office as well, so my Wi-Fi is a little bit slower. So now you see that actual cost figure has now updated um, as we see here. Now, if um, I then increased my plan, uh, my actual costs, I beg your pardon, to go over the budget. So let me just pop that detail in there. Um, and again, just refresh our project detail. Um, what we'll now see is that green indicator changing to amber or red, depending on the thresholds that we had set in the planned cost um, field in our metric section. So I come back to my page, and now we see that actual cost has gone up to $30,100, and our cost indicator here is now showing red. And if I come back to the metric section here, we'll see that the formatted um, target that we put in was $25,000. We gave ourselves a 5% for warning and a 10% for danger or red, and we're now above that, um, as you can see. If I, again, wanted to set those thresholds, I'd need to be an administrator. I can click on edit this item. I can come down here, and I can, for example, change those thresholds if I wanted to. When I click save, we'll now see those new thresholds. And if I refresh the project detail and the indicator had changed, we'll now see it.